G'day, this is Classroom Professor and I'm Dr. Peter Price. Welcome to the next video in the Free Math Worksheet series. This week the topic is addition doubles. We're going to start with the 10 frame um, and this of course is showing an example of double three and so we want the students to use the 10 frame to see by looking at it that double three is equal to six. Now the process that we want the students to use, that they'll naturally use, is subitization, which means to be able to see how many are in a group without actually counting them. So in other words, recognize the number that's in the group. The 10 frames are used for this exact purpose to help students recognize specific patterns up to 10 and then beyond that up to 20. So they will become familiar that this is a pattern that shows six without counting the individual um, counters. And so they should be able to see that double three, two rows of three fill up that much of the 10 frame, there are four left and so they will associate double three with six using the 10 frame. And that leads to the observation that these doubles number facts, there isn't actually a thinking strategy that we're asking the students to carry out. Rather, they're a set of number facts that we want them to become familiar with and to be able to associate the single with the double, if you like, so three with six and four with eight and so on. So there's a number less than 10 or up to 10, we can quite easily show it with a single 10 frame. Let's see what happens if we go beyond the 10. So I'm going to use two colors now and we're going to look at double seven. Okay. So here we have obviously 7 plus 7 and the answer is 14. By using the double 10 frame and two colors we can help the children to see that if we split, and I really want the students to do this in the head rather than writing the whole thing out, that would get a bit complicated, but in their heads to see that 7 is made of 5 and another 2, that will help because if we double the 5 obviously there's 10, then whatever's left if we double that, in this case double two is four, and so the double ten frame lets the students quickly see, recognize, subitize the number 14, and so we can use it in that way to associate uh, the double seven with 14. The other strategy or the other way to help the children think about it, and I'm going to overlay some pictures over the video here, is to associate everyday examples where we have double numbers um, in everyday life. So let's go through them quickly. Uh, double one can be likened to two eyes, and there would be other examples of course, so two eyes, uh, double one is two. Double two is four, we can use the legs of a chair or a table, or the legs on an animal like a cow or an elephant or something like that. Double three is six, we can use the legs on an insect. Double four, we can use the legs on a spider. Of course the children have to know that there's a difference between the legs on spiders and uh, insects, but they can become familiar with that. Double five, of course the digits on two hands. Double six, in uh, many places eggs are sold in dozens and you can buy half a dozen if you want to and you know children can be familiar with the fact that half a dozen is six. Uh, double seven is the number of days in two weeks, or as we often call it a fortnight, which is referring to the fact that there are 14 nights, so there's a nice connection there. For double eight and double nine, I don't have anything, uh, any specific example, but there may be examples you can come up with that relate to perhaps the members of a sporting team, and then two teams competing against each other, and so on. So there'll be examples that you'll be able to come up with. And double 10 is 20 is a nice easy one. There's lots of examples of having uh, pairs of 10 um, making 20. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoy the, using the worksheet with your students and that this video has been helpful. And I'll talk to you next week.